Well, this afternoon I was at my local Harbor Freight and uh, I saw this in their open box table. And I figured what the heck, I'll take the gamble. I was looking at this welder a while back um, before I got my hands on a, another welder that I've been using uh, for free. Um, but I figured for the price, uh, it was worth a gamble. Worst case scenario is it doesn't work. And I, there's a return window for this. But since the return window was only five days, I figured I'd better pull it out right now and, and uh, test it out just to make sure it works. There's plenty of reviews on this particular welder and the reviews are generally positive. It's by no means a professional machine, but for the homeowner, or a guy like me, uh, who just, you know, does stuff in his garage, eh, it's pretty much uh, as good as it gets, especially for the price. So I'm going to unbox it, see, make sure it has everything it's supposed to have, and uh, we'll take it from there. So for some reason in this clip, my GoPro decided not to record audio. No idea why. What I'm doing here is I'm basically just going through the contents of the box, making sure everything is here. As you can see, both spools of wire, the solid wire, and actually what is half a spool of the flux core wire is present in the, the styrofoam topper of the box. And then also the gas regulator is there. Inside this box you'll find the ground cable and the gas hose and the ground cable definitely has been used. The gas hose appears to not have been used. As for the unit itself, it appears to be in decent condition. You can tell it's been cleaned there's like a residue of sorts from uh, the front end, the front of it being cleaned, but there's also scratches on it and uh, obvious evidence that it has been used before. Inside, I found the the gun and the tip does appear to have some use. But the nozzle's clean. Everything else appears to be in good order and at the very least not abused. And so there is no apparent damage on any parts of this welder. Which is good. Looks to be in pretty good condition. And it's probably just a return after a project. Alright, I got it fired up. Everything seems to be responding. Everything seems to be responding as expected. Um, the uh, wire loaded just fine in the, in the gun. I'm gonna run it over here now and just uh, on a scrap piece of the beetle that's gonna get cut out anyway. And uh, see if I can't get it to uh, make some sparks. Alright, that wasn't intended to be pretty, but uh, hopefully you've seen other welding videos and know that I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to welding. I just wanted to make sure it would continuously feed the line and that it would continuously add the uh, voltage. I'm going to move on to some other steel now. 
um, because I want to uh, this didn't give me the confidence to know that it's going to be fine um, and I think it's just because I was blowing through this really thin steel so let me set up something else real quick and I'll try that It's going to work out fine. Just got to get uh, used to the nuances of the, the machine, but um, you know, that was my first ugly weld, and then I just filled a small hole. This is like quarter inch. This is eighth inch. So then I tacked the quarter inch onto the eighth inch here. Once it cools down, I'll smack it with a couple of hammers. Let me clean up the weld though, see how that looks. Alright. So after cleaning it up, you can see I got good penetration. There's some impurities in there but I mean I welded straight through all the corrosion and paint and everything that's on there so pretty decent and that's kind of what flux core is for so good solid welds I'm satisfied So, is buying a, an open box tool from Harbor Freight worth the risk? Well, the answer to that is like the answer to most questions in life, and it depends. Um, I inspected this one before I took it home, just to make sure it was in good, good condition. I know I'm sorry that the unboxing wasn't, you know, like the first time I saw it. Um, I did make sure that it had all the parts. Um, at first I thought it, you know, maybe it was missing its manual and that was the only thing it was missing, but actually these don't come with the manual anymore. They expect you to get them off the Harbor Freight website. So this worked out in my favor. I honestly believe that somebody bought it, used it once for a project, and then returned it to get their money back. I think that happens a lot in retail. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, and I think that's what drives the cost up of many things, but that's just how it is. I'm just glad that I was able to find it for the price that I found it, and I think it's going to work well. Next step is to get gas for it and then try out the MIG function. But um, as, it, as far as it is right now with the flux core, it works well. It's super hot like flux core is, and it blows through thin metal like it's not even there. Um, so... I have uh, floor pans that I'm getting ready to put in to my beetle and uh, I think I can do it with the flux core but if not I've got a gas supplier here in town I can run and grab a 75-25 mix and switch over to MIG if I need to. I will definitely need to switch over to MIG once I get onto the body panels for the bug. So hopefully this was informative for you. You can get good deals, even at Harbor Freight, with open box things. Just got to be smart about it. And make sure you know what you're looking for. And make sure you take advantage of that five-day return window. So if it ends up not being what you expected, you can bring it back and get your money back. So thanks, everybody, for watching. See you next time.